the Jurassic Park movies, then you know it's probably not a good idea to bring dinosaurs back to life. But they have. Here at Jurassic World The Exhibition in the Colony. Inside, you'll find baby dinosaurs, big dinosaurs, and bigger dinosaurs. They have been known to get hungry sometimes, so... Uh... Uh -huh. <laughs> so that's why they let the media go first. I guess with a 50% approval rating, nobody cares if reporters and photographers get eaten. Yep, even you. There are all sorts of creatures to chew you up and spit you out. And we're gonna handle this really quickly, y'all. And their DNA was engineered by the same people who brought the dinosaurs at Universal Studios to life. Really, it's an extension of the Jurassic Park and the Jurassic World feature films. Texas is the first place in North America they decided to let them loose. As they say, everything's bigger in Texas. And it doesn't get much bigger than this. Michael Maddox and his team spent a year and a half putting this together so it could tear you apart. Relax, you won't really get eaten. These aren't real dinosaurs, but they look real enough to fool Michael's sister. She actually said, I literally lost myself and was in believing it was an actual dinosaur. I guess that's why they claim this is the closest you'll ever come to living dinosaurs, but I'm not so sure. I think dinosaurs will roam the earth again because life, uh, finds a way. I told you they were gonna eat the media. Headed for extinction. I'm Sean Giggy. And that's why Sean's not with us here this morning. He was <laughs> eaten by the dinosaurs. He was supposed to be. <laughs> uh, Jurassic World, the exhibition is now open and scheduled to go extinct Labor Day weekend. So you can find more information at WFAA.com. You better yeah. hurry up. Uh, Major